Today, I am going to show you an insane process that has tons of technologies we've never shown before. We have inserts we've never used before. We have softwares we've never used before. It is going to be crazy. Come here, come here, come here. Now, we ran this part out of brass so you could watch it be machined. The actual part's machined out of aluminum, and we had to use coolant for that, which looks like this. You can't see anything at all. We tried to run them without coolant, and this is what happened. Not great at all. Now, the part we're making today on our Tornos GT32 is a part for an aftermarket fuel injection system. Now, this part has a bunch of different specialty features on it that required us to use specialty tooling in all sorts of different applications. So there are three big things that... My fingers are so weird. I can't use my hands, dude. Like, how there are three main things we're gonna talk about in this video. Number one is gonna be our PCD inserts that we're using. They worked phenomenally well. Number two is gonna be all the different crazy holders I have in this machine. Really, that's insane. And the last thing is gonna be the new software we're finally showcasing on this channel that programmed this part. I learned it in a weekend. It is super simple, I love it. First up, PCD inserts. Let's check this out. All right, so this PCD insert is insane. But before I go into that, make sure you subscribe. We're almost at a million subscribers and every one of your subscriptions helps. We really appreciate it. So enough of that, check this insert out. Horn actually put a chip breaker somehow in the tip of this PCD insert. I don't know how they did it, but I was really impressed on the ID and the OD of this part. I threw these inserts in there and got a perfect micro finish. So for the small tools game, PCD inserts from Horn worked really, really well. I gotta hand it to them. And now onto the next thing I wanna talk about is the holders. This system from Golden Bolt, just being able to throw these tools in like this is really, really easy. I was impressed by how I was able just to put my tools in here. I added one cross hole to them and all the coolant comes through the front of the tools. I don't have to have any lines in here or anything but the next holders is what I really, really wanna talk about. So if you look up here, you'll see that we have two new live tools that Horn supplied us from W and F. One of them is a speeder. So I had to make a really deep, precise pocket with a small end mill. And the issue with small tools is, is your RPM, your surface footage. But with this three to one speeder from W and F, I was able to go 18,000 RPM as I spiraled down that square pocket which made it so I can go a lot faster. So what does it mean exactly when I say a three to one holder? So it means for every regular revolution of a live tool holder, this holder will spin three times. And that is what allows you to achieve higher RPMs. I'm going 50 inches a minute in the footage you see there. Another thing I like about them is how they're quick change. I'll say this a million times on this channel, anything in a Swiss machine that makes it so I don't have to wrench inside here and bust my knuckles is gonna get two thumbs up from Donnie. And with those holders, I'm able just to pop loose two screws take out the head, change the tool in my hands, and then pop it back in. That's amazing. And they run out really, really well. I was surprised at how straight the square pocket actually came out. So good job, Horn. Your products rule. So the last thing I wanna talk about for these holders is if you look on our subplate. Horn hooked us up with some really nice graph tools that are interchangeable between the stations and have all sorts of different grooving, threading, turning, whatever, you name it. So it's really nice to be able to have such a compact system in here to allow the maximum amount of tools on my subplate. And yeah, that's it for the holders. Now, for like the grand thing I wanna show you in this video that I am the most impressed with is the software I use to program this part. So let's go to my computer. I gotta show you how this works. All right, so as we walk to the computer, I wanna drop a little disclaimer. I only learned this software over last weekend. We have not done our official training yet with SolidCam, and I cannot believe how easy this software was to learn. Everything I'm about to show you is impressive, but the fact that I could teach myself this software as quick as I did is by far the most impressive part. So let's dive into it. All right, first things first, take a look at this. SolidCam is inside of SolidWorks. So normally with CAM softwares, you need another CAD software to draw your parts and then your CAM software programs it. Well, with solid CAM being inside SolidWorks, that completely alleviates that problem. You now have the best CAM software integrated into your CAD software. You literally can't get any better than that. So check this out. We'll go over here and we'll open up our part. So you'll see right here that solid CAM is actually integrated into SolidWorks. So as you can see our parts right here, and you can see my machining tree over here, and this is where all my operations are for solid CAM. Now here, if you wanna see where, like, where all the weight codes are and stuff, that's in our operation sequence manager. This is where we're going to show you eventually how to sequence all your parts with all the weight codes and all that. It's important to note here that the whole program works. I see a lot of people out there using CAM softwares and cutting and pasting their code to make it work. This posts a good program. All you should have to do is enter your program in and that's it. You shouldn't have to do anything more than that. To check out our simulation, one thing that I think is kind of cool about this is I click setup hit V, 
and you'll get this simulation menu. Now what's cool is, is you have the turning simulation, which just shows basic turning. So like, you know, if I wanna watch like your regular, just simple 2D, no nonsense kind of simulation, I can just pop into this real quick and check it out. Or if I wanna take it to another level, I can hit stop. Let's go to our machine simulation and actually watch the cool full blown simulation of our machine run. So it's gonna load everything in. It's gonna load the machine kinematics, all that. Okay, so check this out. We are in our machine right now. You can see all of our graph holders over here. Yeah, you can see pretty much the whole machine simulation. So we could press play and run it. So you can actually see both heads cutting at the same time. But yeah, we got our milling going on down here, just like in the machine. We have our turning going on over here. Let's speed that up so you can get to the milling. You can see the milling just like we did in the machine. Here's our pocketing. And some of the cool things about SolidCam 2 I'm gonna finish up on here is how easy the machine is to set up. Other softwares can be a real pain for this. So let's check this out. We have our toolkit here. Now let's say I wanna view a tool, right? So I'm gonna see like this tool right here, all right? I can actually go over here and view what it looks like in the machine. So right here, I can actually see what this tool looks like in the machine and it shows me the fixed ring points, all that. But like, let's say I wanna make sure, you know, this tool might not be sticking out far enough, right? There might be something I don't like about it. Well, I can actually go in right here and roll my mouse and move the tool in and out to get it exactly where I want. I don't have to set up my tool, pop into my simulation, see where it is, pop back into my tool menu over and over and over. I can just do this right out of the gate. It's the setting up of your machine in SolidCam is light years faster than anything I've ever seen. And let's say I wanna see what like the machine's gonna look like if I move it around, right? So I can go onto my B axis, let's say, and I can actually swing it and see how things are gonna clear. I can go into my X axis and see how things are gonna clear. I can like literally play with the machine as if I'm at the control which is cool. I've never seen anything like that before. So I got to hand it to you, SolidCam. Your products rule. Oh, look at that. And you can see the Tornos fixture points. But if I go too far, oh no, it's killing the other spindle stuff. Oh my God, oh my God. So that's a really brief overview of SolidCam. Again, I can't believe it was so simple that I could learn it in a weekend and program this for this video that quickly. I really got to hand it to them. It's impressive. So stay tuned because we're going to be showing you a lot more about this software. There are a million more impressive things I really can't wait to bring to you in future videos. So that is it for SolidCam in this video. That's it for our video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just want to let you know, and I didn't tell you this, we are working on the Swiss Academy right now, so stay tuned because this year we are going to be showing you guys everything on a Swiss machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and don't be stupid and ring that notifications bell. See ya.